got striations in my neck. 2% body fat. Anyway, so Harley, can you please, the question today, Harley, could you please do a review of Twin Muscle Workout, Kelvin and Ricardo, their cheat day meal? The question is, Harley, why are they having a Spartamine Dr. Pepper instead of a sugar Dr. Pepper? Is it because they're scared of the sugar? I mean, Spartamine's registered as a biohazard by the CIA. That's how fucking toxic is Spartamine. If you look at Spartamine side effects and the Spartamine weight gain, the Spartamine inflammation, the Spartamine bloat, if you look at Spartamine allergies on the net, there's so much on this. I'm not going to talk about Spartamine toxicity because anyone with half a brain knows the, the links with side effects and dangers of a Spartamine. Just look it up. So I'm not going to go there. I'm going to focus on why are these guys fearing sugar? Now, a can of diet soda, zero calories, essentially. A can of Dr. Pepper with sugar, maybe 130 calories. Maybe 32 grams of sugar, let's say an ounce and a bit of sugar per can, all right? Now, these Twin Muscle workout fellas, I've got nothing, no hate towards Twin Muscle. Just share my comments and criticisms as a professional trainer. Just sharing, because I'll see these guys making the mistake that's going to make them overweight or obese in a few years' time. Now, let's get to it. So the Twin Muscle workout dudes... Having their cheat day, which I don't recommend, I'll say eat healthy all the time. Having their cheat day, they're having these Papa Juan's, John's Papa Pizza or Papa Juan's Pizza. Nice little product placement there, isn't it? Um, they're having four of those. They're a 12 to 14 inch pizza. Uh, the, the meat lovers one, the meat lovers one. It's not a vegan pizza, are they? So they're having four of those that are about 2,900 calories each. This is ran up 3,000 calories. That's 6,000 calories each plus their Cinepar, which is 1,500 calories for one. So they're having about 6,700 6, calories for the meal. All right? And they're worried about a little freaking 32 grams of sugar, which is about 120 calories. 6,700 fucking calories for your, your cheat day meal and you're worried about a little 120 calorie mouse portion of sugar, okay? 6,700 calories, 120 calories of water. That's like lifting 500 pounds and you're on the fucking rack and you're pushing it out and you see a fly or a mosquito land on the bar and you're like, you tell your spotter, quick, get it up, get it up, get it up. <laughs> it's like crazy. It's like walking down the street and you're in your... You're, your best tuxedo or whatever, you're going, to, you're going to your formal or your prom or your business interview and you fall in the sewer, the concrete path snaps open, you fall in the sewer, you're covered in all sewer shit and everything and there's a banana ice cream from some kid walking above you, drops a little bit of banana ice cream on your cheek and you're like, hey man, you got this fucking banana ice cream on, they'll snap your shit up, you know, it's like... <laughs> what the, you know what I mean? It's like people are worrying about that a 6,700 calorie cheat meal, they're worrying about a 120 gram calorie serving of freaking Dr. Pepper. I'll tell you what, Twin Muscle Workout, let's do a caloric breakdown of what you had on your cheat meal and why you guys don't know what you're doing. So Twin Muscle Workout guys, they had four pizzas, two pizzas each. Let's get to it. The calories, the 14 inch pizza they had, 370 calories per slice. That's a whopping 2,000 980 calories per pizza. So that's around 6,000 calories each. How much fat did they have? They had about 17 grams per slice, eight slices. That's about 136 grams per pizza, two pizzas. You're talking about 270 grams of fat. That's half a pound of fat gain in one meal. If you want to get some fat gains, eat these fatty pizzas. And then let's look at the sodium intake. Now, Twin Muscle Worker I had two pizzas each. That's 8,000 milligrams per pizza. That's 16,000. 16,000 milligrams each. 16 grams of sodium for two pizzas for one person. So each twin muscle workout twin had 16 grams of sodium. Now, oh man, if you're into bodybuilding, you know sodium is the shit that puffs your face out, puffs your belly out. It covers up all your definition, all your striations. That's what sodium does. So next day when twin muscle work up, they're all your pathway looking there. Whoa, whoa, where's my abs going? I can't see much. 
And they go, well, I put on fat. They did put on fat from all the cheese and meat. They did put on about half a pound of fat in one meal, 270 grams of fat. But the sodium is going to cause more water retention and cover up all them striations and veins and ripness. So that's how people get caught into an eating disorder. They're like putting on all this sodium retention. They think they're getting fat, so they cut calories down more. Then they have bigger cheat days. So can you see the cycle people are going into? Gets eat eats the fat, put on the fat, put on heaps of sodium retention. Oh, I've got to cut down more. I've got to do more intermittent fasting. I've got to be stricter. Got to be stricter. And then, oh, I'm just so fucking hungry. Just fucking ring up Papa Duane's. Hey, man, we want Papa Duane's pizza. I want all kinds of fat on that and all kinds of sodium. Yo, the home delivery. And we're getting that delivered to our house. We're having that. We're feeling shit the next day, man, because when you've got that much fat in your blood and that much salt retention in your body, you're not going to be feeling too good. So then that, you know, you have more pre-workout powders and shit. Train, 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 train. Don't eat too much food. Drink your fucking diet soda because sugar makes you fat. When you eat sugar, it turns to fat. When you eat fat, it turns to muscle. That's twin muscle workout, PhD, bro science mentality. It's not right. It's wrong. That won't get you results. The only results that's going to get you is all types of gains in the fat department. And if you're going for aesthetics, you probably don't want to gain more fat. Okay? I mean, I could be wrong, but most people, they want to lose the fat versus gain the fat. And just because anyone's fat doesn't make them a bad person. My mum's overweight. She's obese. I still love her. She's a great person. We're talking health here. Healthy aesthetics, not taking D-Bowl and Anavar and being good for a few years and getting some hits, and then later on, you're obese, but you got a lot of money in the bank. Who wants that? No one wants that. So my suggestion, twin muscle workout, twins, is eat healthy every freaking day. Get your rice in. Get off the animal products, guys, because all that's doing is making you fat, bloated, and blocking up your heart. You guys pretend you're about health. You say, we wouldn't do steroids because we're about heart health, but you're eating all this cheese and shit. I don't know, man. It's hard to buy, man. It's hard to buy. So my tip is get them a vegan program. Take all your all your juice and all this gear and all the stuff you're already taking, but change your diet, okay? Because you want to get health, man. You want to be healthy. That's simple as that, man. I want health for myself. I want health for you guys. I want health for everyone else. Health's where it's at, man. That's the best asset. That's the best asset around. It's the best asset. It provides the best returns. So that's my critique, review, comments, and criticisms. It's just advice. It's just advice. You can do whatever the fruit you want to do, man. 